Okay, here I've got my image and it's really starting to take shape. I've applied two graduated filters to it, one to the sky and one to the foreground, but I've still got some areas I need to deal with some localized adjustment on. And that is this tree in this area in the right hand side, which is way too dark. And I also want to brighten up this tree just a little bit to make it a focal point. I'm going to leave these trees dark because they're, they were silhouetted but I need to make some localized adjustments here and here. And fortunately, I could do this with the adjustment brush. And the keyboard shortcut for this is K. And when I click the adjustment brush, it becomes active. And now I can paint any one of these settings or a combination thereof in a specific area of the image. Now, right now, my adjustment brush is way too big. So I can make it smaller with a scroll mouse by dragging toward me or bigger by dragging away from me. I can also press the left bracket key to make it smaller or the right bracket key to make it bigger. Now notice I've got two brushes. I've got an A brush and a B brush. Right now the B brush is selected. If I select the A brush, the feather is quite a bit different. I can change to have two separate brushes. Now if I make this brush just a little bit bigger and I've got feathering, so this is a gradual adjustment. If I change this feathering and move it to the left, notice it gets tighter. I'm going to have a harder edge because it's not feathering as much. So I'm going to set this all the way across, and then there's the flow. The flow is the amount of the adjustment that is applied to the area. Now with the B brush, notice it's higher. I can increase this. Let me show you the difference here. I'm going to take exposure. And I'm going to do plus exposure so we can see it. And I'm just going to drag it across the sky. Now that's two swipes at 59%. I'm going to undo this. Actually, I can just click it and press delete to remove it. And it's gone. I'm going to change the flow of this. to 15 and notice it applies much less and you've got to build it up with successive strokes and I'm also going to change the feather on this and keep the flow at 100% so you can see this here I've got a very hard edge and now if I drag the feather back up closer to 100, I've got a very soft edge. Now I'm doing these adjustments with a mouse. When you're painting with the adjustment brush tool, I suggest you use a Wacom tablet or some kind of stylus and tablet. I'm going to delete this to get it off the image. And now I'm going to set it up for this image. What I'm going to do, I'm going to increase the exposure slightly for these trees here. And with this tool, I find it's better to go with more to start with. And basically, all I need to do is brighten this area. Now, I've got auto mask enabled, which means that the area I start with, the color that I start with, Lightroom is going to create a mask to try and keep it within that area. Notice what it's done. It's already brightened that area significantly. And if I hold my mouse over this, you can see the mask that it's put on. It's done a pretty good job of confining it, but it's got a little bit too much in this area here. When that happens, what do I do? I just go ahead and I change from the brush to erase. Now I've got a small array, so I'm going to increase it just a little bit. Just going to race around the edges here. Now I've got to confine to pretty much the area I wanted to confine it to. And I'll click the brush that I want to go back to to go back to this brush. And now I can click done. When I'm done with this tool, or I can click close 
or I can click new because I want to create a new one right here. And now, instead of showing the mask afterwards, I'm going to press the keyboard shortcut O to show the mask overlay as I'm actually painting. Now I can see exactly where I'm painting and the area it's applied to. And again, notice what a great job of masking it's doing. Even when I go outside the area, it's just keeping it right within that tonal range that I first applied it to. Now I'm going to press O again to get rid of the mask overlay and now I can look at this before and after. I'll brighten these bushes just a little bit too much so I'm going to go to the eraser tool and I can press option or alt to momentarily turn this to the eraser tool of the adjustment brush and when I release the option key or the alt key on a Windows machine it goes back to the brush now if I press O I see the erasing I've done but I still need to I'm actually going to erase with the mask on there so I can see exactly the area I'm erasing And press O again to release the mask and that looks pretty good now where else would I use this tool any number of infinite places where I needed to brighten or darken the image suppose I wanted to darken these bright weeds along the side I just create a new brush dial in a little bit of negative exposure maybe a bit of negative clarity as well to soften those Resize my brush and just paint over the area. And if I didn't get enough the first time, as long as this instance of the adjustment brush is selected, all I need to do is go back into the adjustment brush panel and drag it back just a bit more and again here's the before and here's the after so you use the adjustment brush anytime you need to apply specific settings to a localized area of the image you can also use this it's great for retouching say if you're working on a portrait it's great for retouching portraits you can apply a little bit of negative clarity to soften the skin. You can go in, you can paint over the eyes to sharpen the eyes and make them pop more. Once you start using this tool, you'll absolutely fall in love with it. You can just make specific adjustments to localized areas of the image to your heart's content.